despite the murder lingering in the air. I just thought the same thing. Tails? No. Tails, I think we should check the trash bin. Every trash bin has been empty, Silver. And you've been disappointed every time. Are you going to get sad again if there's nothing in the trash bin, Silver? There's always something in the trash bin. Uh, Alright, let's check the trash bin. What's this? Ha! <laughs> Someone printed out the front page of a ticket website? It's for the band Hot Honey. Interesting, Hot Honey is one of Amy's favorite bands. Who cares what it is? Let's add it to our inventory. Are we sure this isn't just trash? I'll let you have this. There's always success if you check the trash bin. Rumple paper added. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Shadow and find out what really happened. Let's check this first. They told uh, they told us about this in my interview. The launch of the computer complete uh, complete with internet access for casual browsing. How lovely! Seems convenient. It is a shame uh, uh, to be on the computer and missing these gorgeous views, though. I feel like if you're using the computer here, you must really need to use it. Since the printer is hooked up to the computer, can we print something? Sonic rowing a boat. <laughs> Sonic singing a song. Huh, this printer is surprisingly uh, tricky to use. Tricky? Yeah, the user interface isn't very clear. Uh, I won't let that stump me. And here you go. Yep, that's exactly what I asked for. I'll, um, set this back on the printer. Okay, I want to see the, the rowing boat. Hang on, I remember which button to press. Is it really that complicated? Have you ever had a printer work when you wanted it to? Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> and there, worked like a shot. There you go. Yep, this is exactly what I asked for. Well, uh, quietly set this back on the printer. Glad you two finally caught up. I'm surprised it took you so long to get here. I thought you wanted to save Sonic. We've been thorough. Do you have any clues for us? Just a hot tip. But all will be revealed in due time. I think I'll be shedding a big light on this whole case. I hear Shedding is caring. No way! Journalist reporter Amy Rose is always first to reveal a scoop. When you're ready to challenge Shadow, talk to him and I'll be then I'll be ready. So curious what it is, she seems confident. We'll hold you to it. Oh, a question for moi? You know the uh, journalist can't be the murderer, right? We'll learn that the train will confiscate any weapons brought on board. But you've had your hammer this whole time. That's a good point. Simple, the birthday girl gets what the birthday girl wants. And I don't go anywhere without my hammer. Ah, birthday law. Sh we should have known. Everyone knows the birthday rules. Makes sense to me. Now, no more questions. When you're ready to challenge Shadow, talk to him. I'll be ready. Why do you always come over here? There's nothing I can help either of you with. I ask that you leave me be. It's there, so cold. You know, maybe we'll get out of here, actually. Silver, we certainly will not. Shadow, we have questions for you. Will you three get out? I'm busy. Like I, as I said, I have an appointment to attend to. Sorry, but this is important. Shadow, we've questioned everyone on the ship, and every single person has mentioned running into you. You've been locking every door in this train, and... And I know why! Pray tell, why I was locking all these doors? <laughs> Time to reveal my hot tip. Hope everyone is ready for the scoop found by yours truly. We're ready. According to the map, the next car is the conductor's car, where Sonic was stationed. This door right here, uh, this door right here in the launch car is the only door that leads to the conductor's car. Following? So Shadow was locking all these doors for one reason and one reason alone. To keep Sonic from escaping the conductor's car. So you think think Shadow was trapping Sonic? I sure do. He locked the conductor's car and then locked all the other cars so that no uh, so that, 
uh, all the others, so one locked door wasn't suspicious. Pure conjecture. You all, get out and leave me be. Well, my source can back up these claims. They will remain anonymous, but I think the point stands. My source claims that they never saw Sonic again after he went to the conductor's car. Why? Because he was trapped and couldn't leave the conductor's car. Reckless speculation. Is the logic sound, though? Was Shadow trapping Sonic? I'll play along and follow this train of logic, Amy. If Shadow did lock the car to the conductor's, uh, the door to the conductor's car in person with Sonic, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Exactly. I think Silver and I can explain the car, cha uh, the car change. However, Silver, what evidence do we have to show that uh, Sonic would have uh, uh, shows that shows Sonic could have uh, gotten to the dining car? Hidden passage. Okay, just get my thoughts in order. I mean, the hidden passage makes sense. Fifty-five rings. There's so many spikes here. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Thought I had to redo that at, point, at some point. Silver and I found a hidden passage in the wardrobe that leads right to the library car. What? A secret passage? So someone could have used the, secret, uh, the passage, snuck through the library car, walked past the distracted boys playing arcade, and safely arrived at the dining car. Excellent work, Silver. Um, this just suggests my this suggests my theory a bit. So Shadow murdered Sonic in a conductor's car, and then uh, th uh, and then thought the crime scene would be so close to his state. Uh, but then thought that cr uh, the crime scene being so close to his station was suspicious. Shadow picked up Sonic, locked the door to the conductor's car on the way out, dropped the um, dropped the body off in the dining car. Are you officially accusing Shadow of murder? I am, but of course this is just a theory. I uh, don't have any evidence to back this up, other than my hot scoop. Ha! <laughs> Seems Tails and I uh, were more thorough than you. If Shadow is not gonna talk, then I'll humor you once again. If Shadow traveled through the secret passage and appeared in the library car, then how did SBM Vector not see him? Well, um... I suppose it would be hard to sneak uh, sneak around two people. Silver, do you have any guesses? Oh well, uh, SPO and Vector didn't see Shadow because Vector was with Knuckles. That's true. Vector was with Knuckles and couldn't have seen Shadow enter the library car. See, things have fallen into place. But uh, what about SPO? I believe SPO was hiding behind a bookshelf uh, at a table reading. Uh, SPO leading in the library checks out. Uh, that's what he told me too. He's lying. What was that, Shadow? When I completely obliterated Knuckles and Vector at that uh, at that game uh, at that whatever game, I left the saloon car. I spent some time looking for SPO, but he was not there. He was not in the library car. I can't believe you. You're currently my number one suspect. Why were you even searching for SPO, huh? You must know I needed to give him a key. As if, why would a locksmith be giving away his keys? Shadow's been giving away a lot of keys, uh, actually. Everyone but us seem to have one. That's true. Everyone, uh, everyone's everyone been able to unlock the next door for us. I didn't know that. Shadow's been passing out keys? Perhaps Silver and I can further validate Shadow's claims. We can do what? Silver. What evidence supports Shadow's claim uh, that he was given keys away? The key ring, of course. That feels good. Now I'll get my uh, now to get my thoughts in order. Sixty rings. Oh my lord.
Ah, oh, made it. Thank God. <laughs> There's only one reason there's exactly two keys on that key ring. Those were the two keys Shadow meant to give to es uh, Espion Vector. No way! Well, what of his own key? Uh, couldn't one of those be for him? I have my own key on me. <laughs> Interesting. So let's say Shadow is telling the truth. Then what? If Shadow didn't murder Sonic and bring him to the uh, to the dining car, then what po uh, then what possible reason could he have for locking all the doors? She's right. The theory is strong. Tails and I haven't uh, present any possibilities. Shadow actually innocent of Sonic's crimes? I think uh, Silver and I know exactly why Shadow has been locking all the doors. Why does he keep including me too? First, Amy, I have one question for you. Huh? Has everyone today given, uh, given you a birthday present? Oh, most everyone, yeah. Everyone's been so sweet. Uh, just, um, Shadow and Sonic haven't been given me a, uh, uh, haven't given me anything yet? But that's okay. Just them being here is enough. Understood. Thank you, Amy. Silver? Uh, yes, Tails? I have a theory, but I need a piece of evidence to support it. We know Shadow walked through every train car locking the exits, so, uh, and he gave everyone uh, stationed in the cars a key, except for you, me, and Amy. That's right, the conductor gave Amy her birthday key, not Shadow. But why would he lock all the doors and not give us a key? Because he couldn't find us. Maybe... Maybe, but Shadow knew Amy and I uh, started in the dining car. He could have uh, given us a key if he wanted to. That's a compelling argument, so maybe... Was Shadow locking the doors to keep us away? Not us, Silver. Uh, I'm making a leap here, but stick with me. I think Shadow has been trying to keep Amy away. Uh... What? Excuse me? Shadow would never do that. It's my birthday. You know it's my birthday, right? Don't you, Shadow? Uh. Uh. How dare! Silver, show me evidence. Huh? If, Sh uh, if Shadow was trying to keep me away, prove it. You've been so thorough or whatever. What proof do you have? Uh, okay, okay. Tails thinks Shadow's keep. Uh, was keeping just Amy away. Why? But evidence shows uh, what Shadow didn't want Amy to know. Could it be this, maybe? Ball of paper found in the trash bin. Kind of want to see what this is. Feels right. <laughs> Let's organize my thoughts. 65 rings? <laughs> no! <laughs> Game, why? Why this many? And why with... Why on this road of death? Oh god. Ugh. went rooting through the trash. Huh? What was that? We found this in the trash bin next to the printer. It's of a bounce ticket website. Tails, don't! <gasps> ah! It's the Hot Honey's website! No way, I love them! Uh, Hot Honey? It's the band I'm currently obsessed with. Jeremy B is uh, my current favorite. All the members have B after the name. Yes! <laughs> Isn't it cute? I haven't gone to any of the shows yet to see them, though. Their tickets are really hard to get. You have to be ready online at a specific time. Uh, and they, send out, they sell out in minutes. So the question becomes, why was this paper found in the, tra in the train car 
station uh shadow was stationed in. Watch yourself, Fox. The situation is becoming much clearer. I don't know how Tails figure things out so soon, but I can see where he's heading. The print out of the hot honey uh hot honey band's ticket website exists because Shadow <laughs> is a big hot honey fan. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Going for it. He's gonna kick my ass, but let's go for it. Leave now. I uh, don't know what kind of music Shadow listens to, but it's obviously not this. Yeah, buying it as a birthday gift for Amy. What? Shadow, is this true? Are you trying to get me concert tickets for my birthday? Uh, I've done a poor job hiding the surprise it seems. Yes, I'm trying to get you concert tickets for your birthday. Shadow! I used a printer earlier and found it uh, difficult to manage. When logging onto the website, did you print the homepage by accident? How the... Yes, that's exactly what happened. I'm not fantastic with computers, admittedly. I can't believe this. After I, uh, I accuse you of murder... Spill everything, Shadow! The cat's out of the bag! I want to know everything! <sighs> Fine, the surprise has ruined everyone. Anyway... Oof, probably our fault there. Ah, sorry, all this detective job... Uh, all uh, detective's job, I suppose. Hmm. When I arrived on the train, I realized everyone else had a gift, except for me. Word from my social status, I immediately began brainstorming ideas inside a computer. I remember Amy having uh, having never seen Hot Honey live and looked it up. That's when I accidentally printed a homepage. The concert tickets weren't actually on sale, I realized, but it would have been available soon. Is that the appointment you were speaking of? The time you were able uh, to actually buy the concert tickets? Precisely. I haven't purchased the tickets yet. I knew I had to keep Amy away while I waited to buy the tickets, so I began locking all the doors. But for the safety of everyone, I handed out keys so they could get in and out, telling them not to let anyone through. It didn't work. Amy still managed to make it here somehow. It's because the conductor gave me this. This key opens up any door in the train. I've gotten through every, uh, every locked door with ease. The plan's fatal flaw, the birthday key. Ah, I should have guessed, it's a well-known privilege. Shadow, I... Your, je uh, your jester is so sweet, and after I accuse you too. How about this? Let's buy the tickets later. Uh, and to make it up to you, you can come with me. I, uh, I don't know if... Too late, it's happening. Yeah, I can't wait, the show of a lifetime. Ah, fine. Happy birthday, Amy. I expect a lot of pictures from the concert, you two. <laughs> Since the mystery of Shadow's locked doors has finally reached the end. I blame my swords for all this. That wasn't a hot tip at all, leading me to believe Shadow was behind everything. My credibility as a journalist reporter going down the drain. Amy, I'm curious. Who was the source of your, uh, big scoop? I would like to know as well. Sorry, strictly confidential. My credibility may be shot, but my principles stay intact. I have a strong feeling I know exactly who, so who your source is. Uh, but we need to investigate one last area, the conductor's car. I'll come with you. I'd love to know who's been dragging my name through the mud. I'll join as well. Time to see this through the end. We're more than happy to have you both. Clover, I hate to say it, but I believe our investigation is finally coming to a close. The pieces are coming together. The full picture is becoming clearer and clearer. Let's end this, Tails. We'll pin down Sonic's murderer for good. Right on! Uh, right on then, let's go. Just gonna do a little save there. And then we go. Go to the conductor's car. <laughs> After a few more songs. Let's finish this. It's now or never. Oh my god, that picture is adorable. Should really sort out my evidence before I continue. My short time working on this train, I haven't visited the conductor's uh, car yet. Feels empty. Wait, where's the conductor? That's odd. I haven't seen him through uh, throughout the train at all. Last we saw him was when he left the dining car. 
Something clearly happened here. Nothing we can't figure out. Come on, time to investigate. Let's crack on. Did this fall over when the train sped up? Not sure. Wait, what does it say on the mug? A cup of joe in your hand, wife by your side, paradise. Alright, alright, we get it. He loves his wife. A microphone. We can talk to the whole train with this. Hmm, should I say something? If you can hear this, your armpits stink. Stop beatboxing! Silver, why are you reaching for the mic? <laughs> Just, um, offering the guests some musical entertainment? That was impressive, Silver. Thank you for sharing. I didn't realize the robot arms could also drive the train. Yeah, they can't access every function on the train like the conductor can. Did they teach you how to drive it? Uh, no, just how to work the microwave. I recognize some of these functions. Maybe I could, uh, could drive the train. I would completely trust you to drive the train. Same, actually. It's true. You could drive this train flawlessly. Oh, guys! Wow, the conductor looks so young in his uniform! He's been here a long time. After 32 years, he told me he's finally retiring. Just gonna check something real quick. He said he's headed to Spagonia with his wife. I hope they have a great trip. 32 years is a long time. I wish them a lot of happiness. May any future sorrow be fleeting. Oh, yes, I wish that too. You know, I'm alright. I don't need to check the trash bin. You're satisfied with finding a clue here before, huh? I know they said always check the trash bin, but I'm good. I'll go out on a high note. Mm, what's this? Someone has been playing darts? That's not a throwing dart, that's a blow dart. Someone brought a weapon onto this train. That shouldn't be possible. Tails is right. The train detects any weapons on a passenger before letting them aboard. Let's make note of this. This robot arm has been completely torn off. Yuck, how creepy. That arm is powerful. It'd be tough to break it out of his grasp. A lot of people here uh, have the strength to tear this off, but the question is why? The concentration definitely occurred in this room. We should log this. Aye, aye, sir. I think we found enough clues. Let's talk to Amy and solve this once and for all. Is it odd that we haven't seen a conductor since a dining car? I figured he had to drive the train the entire time. I'd guess the same, but the train's quick speed up is odd. And we currently don't know where he is. I hope he's alright. Admittedly, I missed his laugh. <laughs> well, you two, you think you have enough evidence for me to call everyone here? It's high time we name a suspect. What do you think, Silver? Ready to solve this case? Yeah. Hello everyone, this is the birthday girl speaking. Please report to conductor's car at once. Wonderful to have you all here. Tails and I are ready to announce our prime, sus prime suspect. With assistance from Silver. Why hasn't Sonic showed up? Vector! Real quick, 
Uh, can you come with me to get Sonic? He must still be, uh, be pretending to be dead, Lazy Bum. Ready, let's go get him. Let me tell you, darlings, this has been a delight. A delight? The air in here is so intense. I love it. Nothing like a thrill of a mystery. The train has so many amenities that feel so catered to. Admittedly, I've been having a lot of fun myself with the amusement of a chase. I see why you're a detective outside of this mystery, Espio. You and I love a good thrill, it seems. But on this train, I am but a humble poet. I'd be willing to do an event like this again. It says here that the train does escape rooms as well. I love escape rooms! Count me in! I'm so glad everyone is having a good time. Maybe we could ride a train just to relax sometime? Ha! <laughs> yeah, that could be fun too. What in the world? Th that's Amy's voice. Quick, where's Amy? He... He... He's not responding to us. Sonic! Sonic! What? Is he hurt? Why isn't he moving? Sonic? Sonic, can you hear us? He's banged up. It's just a pulse is weak. Setting down, Victor. Make sure his head is propped up. I'll help you. I knew one of you would take this too far. Which one of you did this to Sonic? On my birthday, no less! Could this really have been one of us? There's no one else here, Knuckles! So I'll ask again, which one of you did it? Uh... This is in inexcusable. Sonic is hurt. I'm going to expose the monster who did this. Tails is not having it. I thought Sonic could handle anything, but somehow he met his match. I'm going to help you to the bottom of this, Tails. Okay, we have broken arm and blow dart. Absolutely. Me too. Same. We're going to figure out exactly what happened in this room. And punish the one responsible. S Sonic. He was really hurt this whole time, and I did nothing. I'm right in my wrong. I must take down the murderer. Tails, Silver, I have a big question to ask. Who in this room did this? Who killed Sonic the Hedgehog? Okay, it can't be us. It can't be those two. So, let me see here. The cord uh, to a robotic arm is completely sliced through. I humble the idea of an axe causing this, but the wep but weapons are not allowed on this train. A blow dart found in the f uh, on the floor of the conductor's train. No dart board nearby. Uh, nearby, though, suspicious. So, sliced through... And a blow dart being a typical ninja weapon. I hate to say it, but I think the murderer is Espio. Because here's the thing. Tails has been with us this entire time. Plus, he's a detective. He can't be the murderer. Amy is the... Reporter. She's also one of the only two neutral parties. These two have been playing arcades the entire time. These two have been haunting for treasure the entire time. I mean that these two are the only two really suspected people. However, Shadow doesn't use blow darts and knife weapons. Espio is a ninja who can easily conceal his weapons. And if it is an Espio, then I'm gonna check for Shadow. But first, let's try Espio. Espio, you were the one to murder Sonic, weren't you? Uh, I didn't know such a thing, my young friend. 